For more than 50 years, West Salem has been host to a very popular competition in our area. The Lacrosse Fairground Speedway has a rich history of fun nights and fast speeds, but the future of the sport may look a little different down the road. News 8's Jennifer Livingston and photographer John Schmidt bring us this week's In Search Of. Hi, Emily. This is Mandy from Riverfront calling. 22-year-old Mandy um, Eckelberg just here. wrapped up her first year as a okay. human resource representative for Riverfront in, in La Crosse. Thank you. Bye-bye. I love that it's not only working in the human resources field, but I get to get involved with the participants, our adults with disabilities, that come to our facility on a daily basis. She's hardworking, passionate. Hello, Riverfront. This is Mandy. Driven. Great traits for her day job. She learned from countless nights on the track. On the weekends, I like to get away and go race stock cars. Mandy can barely remember a time when she didn't call the lacrosse fairground Speedway her second home. My dad's been racing for, I believe, 28 years now. As long as we could sit on a bleacher, we were coming out here, and it was like, oh my gosh, that's my dad. How awesome. He's so cool. As the kids turned 16, I asked each one of them if they wanted to race. When my brother turned 16, he was interested and jumped in, and when I turned 16, dad gave me the same offer, and after I was out a couple times, I got hooked, and I was set ever since. Over the years, Mandy has worked her way up on the track. On that wall, she's learning every week. She tries to go faster and faster. With five and a half to go, it's Towner and Thompson. Of the six classes at the Speedway, Mandy is the only woman in the sportsman division. That's just under the top ranked late model division where no women currently race. Chop the green. There is no question, this is traditionally a playground for men. Mandy is trying her darndest to fit in with the sportsman drivers and she doesn't want to race any ways but she does not want to give up on racing just because she's a female. It really drives me. I see myself as just one of the other guys out there. It doesn't really phase me. It really makes me push and kind of strive to meet those goals and push myself as hard as I can. I did actually win a heat race last year in the sportsman division due to a technicality, but still um, it was a win and I'm pretty darn proud of it. I had a smile on my face all night from that. That made me so proud. But with racing, anything can happen. And for the Ecclebergs, the worst almost did. Our sportsman feature race. Back in April, uh, it was the preseason race. Eckelberg goes outside. We were about three or four laps left of the feature race. We were coming out of turn four. Myself and another car made contact. Bad Red Worth and oh, here we go! The great green metal machine is on fire! It's one of the worst angles to hit a wall at. Mandy Ackerberg showing some flames from the melon. Opened my eyes to a big ball of flame and a totaled car. They're telling her you gotta get out. Mandy walked away with minor injuries. The car wasn't so lucky. Was it total? It was completely total. It is now at the junkyard. We don't care about the car, folks. We care about the driver. And Mandy is upright with the safety personnel on the racetrack. With no car, and fleeting courage, Mandy admits she thought about giving up. That looks a lot better, a lot better. But longtime racing friend Jared Logging would have none of it. I picked up the phone immediately and called her dad and said, if there's anything you guys need, whether it's cars or whatever, I'll, I'll help you out. And it just kind of snowballed from there. Jared made available his old race car. It needed a little elbow grease. But turns out there was no shortage of volunteers wanting to get Mandy. Yep, I got her, Jerry. Back on the track. But he'd call me, he'd be like, you know, you have to do this. Just get it out of your head. We're going to go. I'm going to be there to support you. He said he understood. He knows I'm scared. I got to try to just put everything out of my head. I know she can do it. Down. Now there's a, a drive to get her out there and get her back up and being extremely competitive again. A few weeks ago, on what happened to be Riverfront Night at the track, co-workers, friends, and of course her family gathered for the big debut. A new car and a fresh start for the girl that's paving the way for women down the road. I'm just trying to 
you know, make a name for myself out there and make a name for the other girls, just hold my line and do the best I can. On the outside, the return of the great green melon machine, Mandy Eckelberg. In West Salem with photographer John Schmidt, Jennifer Livingston, News 8. Wow, that takes a lot of courage to get yeah. back in that car. Good for her. Mandy's dad, Kurt, and older brother, Jonathan, are still racing in the top-ranked late model division. Kurt says his ultimate dream would be to have Mandy join them on the track in that division down the road. Now, if you would like to catch Mandy and the rest of the drivers out at the Speedway, competition takes place every Saturday through mid-October. Time trials begin at 6 p.m. Racing starts at 7.30. For more information, you can check out lacrossespeedway.com.